Hello everyone and welcome to another watercolor tutorial. We're going to be painting this watercolor dragonfly today. Um, so I suppose the first thing you want to do is sketch out your dragonfly. One thing you can do is just go on the internet, find an image of a dragonfly and trace it. Or um, it's quite simple to draw yourself freehand. You obviously have the head and then the body of the dragonfly kind of fades into this really long tail-like shape. Um, and then we're going to be paint, uh, drawing our two sets of wings here. So the first set kind of swoops down like this. Like that. And then the top one goes somewhat like that. And that's, I mean, the basic shape, so if you want, you know, all of the perfect edges and so on, just trace it off of the internet. Um, but once you have your shape, we can go ahead and start the painting process. So I'm going to ma make my dragonfly um, kind of a variety of different colors. So um, the first thing I'm doing is just applying water to the wings of my dragonfly, trying to stay in between the lines. And I'm going to be first taking blue and just applying that on that inner portion of our dragonfly and that's naturally just going to spread out into the wing. While that's doing its thing, I'm just going to apply water to the second wing, just below the first one. I mean, my, my water is tinted a little bit. Uh, ideally, you just want it to be clear. And I'm gonna make this one more of a yellow. Actually, it's going to be a yellow combined with a green. And I'm going to paint, of course, the other side. I'm going to take my blue again. And of course, the last wing, filling it in with that water again. And I'm going to take some orange this time maybe a little bit of pink as well. And you can just start um, applying some colors in random areas as well, just to spruce it up because it should still be wet, the, uh, the wing. So those colors will kind of naturally blend into one another, well, which will make it look really nice, of course. I'm also going to just start filling in the body of our uh, dragonfly here. And you can take uh, whichever dominant color, whichever color that you want to make the dominant one, uh, you can take it and just start filling in the body portion. I'm going to kind of combine the blue with the pink a little bit. Now I'm going to intensify some of my colors while it's still wet. Um, so I'm going to 
grab pigmented colors this time so there's not going to be a lot of water on my paintbrush and I'm going to drop those colors in the areas that I want to be a little bit more intensified. So We also want to start adding a little bit of black, uh, especially coming from the center, and this is because dragonflies, the bodies are typically, um, actually I don't want to say that I'm not, not too familiar with insects, so I don't want to say, oh, they're typically, the bodies are black, but I mean, insect bodies are usually on the darker side, so you do want to start incorporating some black features. Not too much though, while it's still wet, because we don't want that black to bleed outwards, but just a little bit, just to, you know, give it a hint of black uh, before it completely dries. So I'm also going to start painting the body, or not the body, but the, the head of our uh, dragonfly black, because that is going to be exclusively black. So uh, I'm just filling in the the legs and the head so once your dragonfly is dry this is where we're going to add in the black details that are going to make this dragonfly uh, look much more realistic so you're going to take black watercolor and a liner brush. And uh, by the way, I have included, as always, all my supplies in the description. I'm just using a double zero Windsor & Newton uh, brush here. And it's definitely one of my more used brushes. But uh, we're gonna take extra care here to apply a very, 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 very thin black line to the top of the, the um, both sets of wings here. And um, you really wanna be extra careful that you make it as thin as possible because uh, by using black and outlining the black wings, uh, well, they're not black, that's the point, where they're, they're clear, but by using the black and outlining it as thinly as possible, you're making it look like the wings are um, clear. So I've outlined the top um, of both of the top wings there. And you can begin to add all these very intricate uh, details if you wish. You don't have to, but it does add a little bit more realism to the wing if you start adding all these random, uh, kind of if you think of the wing as sort of what a monarch wing looks like. A monarch butterfly how it has all those thin black lines I mean they're they're not as thin as a dragonfly of course but um, it's kind of the same idea I suppose And these lines can kind of go in whatever formation you want them to go. Unlike a monarch butterfly, it doesn't have to be very, very uniform. And of course we can't forget the body we do want to distinguish the body from uh, the wings. So I am trying to make the body a little bit darker than the wings.
Now for the, the long tailed body portion here, I'm making one side, one line, one black line much thicker. Um, and then this one is a little bit more sparse, kind of more similar to the wings. And I'm just breaking up the tail with these horizontal lines. Um, and they don't all have to be, you know, completely joined from one side to the other. They could be a little bit dotted, um, irregular. They can have even, you know, some fully black sections. Okay, so once you're happy with all of your winged details, we are finished with our dragonfly. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.